Kelvin Johnson and Emmanuel Quickly are the future. They could be great freshmen next year for Cal. And they're playing the McDonald's All-American game in Atlanta. Cal hopes that E.J. Montgomery joins them in Lexington. Our Charlie Walter talked to all three. Welcome back into True Blue Atlanta. This city was not kind to the Kentucky Wildcats a week ago. On Thursday, they fell at the hands of the Kansas State Wildcats, but that is now in the past, and Phillips Arena holds the future of the Kentucky Wildcats. As Emmanuel Quickly and Keldon Johnson are ready to represent UK. I can't imagine how excited I am. I can't wait to get there and perform and uh, be a part of Big Blue Nation for sure. I think we'll be uh, up in the running for national championship, you know, just like every year, you know. Um, uh, they, I think they missed a lot of shooting this year, and I think with, with the recruiting yeah. class we had this year, we can, we can help add to their talent that they already have. What's your relationship like with Coach John Calvary? Uh, we have a great relationship. You know, I talk almost every day, and just he just tries to tell me I can come in and be that stretch forward guy and just come and help the team. November 6th, I'm sure everybody will be tuned in. Kentucky versus Duke. Do I even need to say anything else? You ain't got to say nothing. Cut, cut the camera. We don't got to say nothing. We ain't got to say we, nothing. We don't got to say nothing else. Uh, we just going to go out there, and we're going to get out them. And we're going to Kentucky. <laughs> we Big gonna, Blue Nation. Exactly. Big Blue Nation. That's exactly. all we got to say. Facts. So Keldon Johnson and Emmanuel quickly are ready to be Wildcats. But first, they will represent their school on the national stage. Still in high school, but soon to be Wildcats. They play in the McDonald's All-American game tomorrow night on ESPN. From Trooper Atlanta, I'm Charlie Walter. Thank you, Charlie. Chris Mack gets to take his wife home. He can't do that every day, right? She's from Louisville. The Xavier coach who did a wonderful job there follows Patino. He's got a seven-year contract starting at about $4 million. He's a very good coach. He's a very good recruiter. He's already recruiting. And he wrote a wonderful letter to Xavier fans thanking them and telling them, since he got there on campus as a player in 1990, that he loves them. This has been the job he wanted and wasn't sure he was going to get it because before this mess, Patino might have coached another seven, eight years or more. Tubby is 66. He looks younger. Can he take his school, High Point, to the NCAA tournament, a place where they've never been? Why not? And who says you can't go home? The former UK coach is so excited about his new job. It's going to energize and reinvigorate me, you know, at your and I've been in coaching now for 45 years, and so, uh, but I feel like I'm just getting started. I do want to present something to you, Coach Dan, if you'll bring me um, something here important. We give this to kings and queens, oh. and uh, <laughs> kings and queens and emperors. So today I, I want to... Or... <laughs> Living <laughs> no, no, to Hall of Famers like you, sir, and I want to present the key to High Point University to Coach um, Tubby Smith. 66 years old. We wish him well. Hope he coaches many more seasons. We'll be right back.